Now we've been having some issues losing some fish in this tank. Currently the fish all look a little bit startled because we've just sprung the light on them at night time. But red flag number one, flat surface. Never, never do I want to see flat surface, particularly in a cichlid aquarium, because you need to ruffle the surface in order to lower the surface tension in order to allow good gas exchange. And with good gas exchange, your bacteria is going to work properly. Your redox potential is going to be good. Your dissolved oxygen level is going to be good and everyone's going to be healthy and happy. So we want to make sure the, the surface is well broken. That will increase redox, increase dissolved oxygen and make the situation much more comfortable for the fish. The next thing we want to do is make sure we get our filter nice and clean. This one looks like it hasn't been cleaned since 1976. The amount of crap going on in there is not, a, not, not, not good. So the filter needs an overhaul. That means getting down here, putting everything out, giving it a clean in water from the fish tank, not water from the tap, putting it back in again. And it really needs some biomedia because basically it's got basically no biomedia it's all just full of crap. So we need to put some good biomedia in there, like some marine pure. Put some marine pure in there. The biomedia will grow lots of good bacteria. The good bacteria will break down the waste from our fish, and we're all happy. And then we've got mechanical media. We've got to make sure the mechanical media is replaced, and the mechanical media takes all the dirt out. But that needs a really good cleanup. So... The other thing we'd want to do is grab a sample of water from the aquarium and then come down to Majestic Aquariums. We've now got a spin test machine that we can run the water through and we can get very accurate analysis of the water, which is a $10 service. We then can look at that water to make sure that um, it, all the parameters of the water is right. Now, looking at this aquarium in this condition, I would suggest that the water is not right, but we would know that by actually testing it. So at the end of the day, there is two keys to a good healthy fish. One is water quality, which we can monitor, and two is nutrition. So good quality food is the key. And then we want to take just a little bit of care with the aquarium. Like we've got a couple of um, air stones here that really doesn't have to sit there like a like grandma's swing, <laughs> taking just a little bit of care to plant everything and make it all look nice. We could have this aquarium looking a million bucks in no time at all with very little effort. Now, the other thing to be aware of too is that fish do age. So though there's babies running around in here, there's also some fish in here that could be quite old, like this fella here. In the wild, a lot of these fish will live four to seven years. So just be aware that that um, they don't live forever. So particularly if their environment maybe has not been perfectly ideal. So adding an extra power head in the aquarium just to agitate the surface, that would be a very low cost, high impact investment. So I'd like to see a power head agitating the surface. I'd like to see some marine pure in the filter. I'd like to see good mechanical media like polyfilter put in here. Very, very little basic investments. Just, agit just just aquascape it all up with a little bit more care. And this will be looking a million bucks.